Ingrid or Miss Glamorazzi, who I'm sure you will all know because we're in videos yeah. together fairly frequently yeah. considering we live about 4,000 miles yeah, away from I know, across the Atlantic Ocean and the United States. There we go. So today we are doing our June favourites and if you haven't already watched part one, I'm going to link it here, we did part one on Ingrid's channel which is talking about hair care, skin care, Nails. Nails and all that jazz. And in part two, which is this video, we, we are going to be talking about makeup. So without further ado, Ingrid is going to start talking about makeup. Okay, um, I guess I'll start off with these two things. Um, I've been using these for my brows and I finally got a new eyebrow gel. Thank you to everybody who reminded me. I still have me. my old scabby one going that we yep. got at the same time. The MAC eyebrow sets. And I needed a new one, and everybody reminded me, so thank you for reminding me. And I went with the Anastasia um, Clear Eyebrow Gel, which I've used before and really liked it. So I got this again, and it's just clear. Um, kind of looks like the MAC Eyebrow Gel. But I feel like this one holds better, and I have kind of unruly eyebrows, like my hairs will find. it doesn't have a clear container, yeah. so you can't see how gross and dirty it is inside. Yeah. Always a bonus. I know, our MAC What you don't know, <laughs> don't have to worry about. <laughs> exactly. So then I also got from Anastasia the brunette slash dark brown brow powder. So that's what I've been using to fill in my brows, and I've really been liking this. So these two products I've been loving. Good combination. Mm -hmm. I'm not entirely sure where to start, I'm just going to go in there with a the foundation. <laughs> and I seem to change my foundation so much, I feel like I'm just very disloyal. Dis <laughs> is disloyal the word or is it unloyal? Disloyal. Disloyal. Okay, so, <laughs> basically, I'm a little bit more tanned than I was over the last few months because I've got, actually finally got a little bit of sunshine, and I only had two foundations that are a kind of appropriate colour for me, and even then they're still a little bit light. But, I've had this foundation for a, a long time, like, at least a year, and I've rediscovered it and I've fallen totally <laughs> in love with it. It's another Shiseido foundation. I know I've talked about the sun protection foundation a lot, um, but this one is also absolutely amazing. And I've been wearing it pretty much all month, and because I've been vlogging every day throughout the whole month of June, um, I have got loads of comments asking me what foundation I'm wearing, and you kind of, you see yourself in like outside light and what mm -hmm. it looks like, and I just love this foundation. It's really kind of natural, but very flawless and just kind of yeah nice and it looks really good, good. yeah when you were putting it on I was like looking at it like oh it looks so good it's really like a smooth consistency as well I mean I have normal dry skin I don't know what it would be like on oilier skins maybe I should get angry to try it I know I feel like I feel like every foundation Fleur has recommended to me I've liked so I feel like you I might should like this it's good and I like the tiny packaging as well it's like cute so yay for Shiseido, yay. perfect refining foundation, and the colour I use is 40. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, so for blush, I've been loving one of the Tarte Amazonian 12 hour blushes, or the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes. This one is in Tipsy, and there we go, so you guys can see it a little bit better. I wanted like a bright, kind of peachy blush, and this was exactly what I was looking for. So this is really, really bright in person. Really bright. In, on camera though, it looks a lot more subtle, but in person it's very bright. I'm wearing it on my cheeks now, but I like it because it just brightens up your complexion, but it doesn't look super crazy when you put it on. It's just a nice brightening blush And they last summer. a long time. Yeah, they last a really long time, but they are really pigmented, so I have to be careful when I put my brush in. I have to be like, tap, tap. Like brush it on, blend it in. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, just like that. Otherwise, it'll be like way too much on my face. So you do have to be careful with these, but they're awesome. Oopsie. And so smash it on yeah. the table. <sighs> um, my kind of blush-like favorite kind of thing. It's a bit of a hybrid. It's a double product, but it's also double use. And I'm not going to be able to open it now. This is really irritating. It's the Mimi Me Boho Balm. And if you guys haven't seen these, they come in a tin like Vaseline, and you get two colours. And this is the Coral Taupe variety, which, first of all, they do two different varieties. I think there's like a rose pink one, and then there's this one, which looks a little scary to start off with, because taupe, you think, yeah. like, really? <laughs> but it actually comes out as kind of like a plummy 
um, nude on the cheeks and on the lips it's a real kind of like nice nude colour that isn't too pale mm -hmm. and then the coral is just a nice sheer coral it's not too bright no because it's creating <laughs> chaos in the corner over there um, but I really like this they're really good and I think they're about five pounds so they're a good kind of summer multi-purpose product great for keeping in your handbag if you need to like top up anything because I find blush disappears the fastest yeah. on me after lip product I find blush just disappears yeah. in the day. So I've been liking that. And it smells really good. It smells like vanilla. It's moving on. I have two mascaras this month. Um, and the reason why I have two is because they're very different. So I have the Falsies Volume Express Waterproof. This is the flared version. And then Maybelline Mega Plush waterproof. So this is the new mascara that Maybelline came out with and I've been liking this for days when I just want really natural looking lashes and I wore this all day when we went to Six Flags and I didn't have a single smudge around my eyes so I was like that's good. Yes because everything smudges like crazy on my eyes if I'm not careful. So mascaras will usually start to smudge by the end of the day but I wore this all day on a really hot day at Six Flags and it, stayed. it was sweltering. Yeah, it, it was sad. It stayed on, and I was really happy with this. Um, the brush is interesting because it has this like little oh. flexi brush, which um, some people may not like. If you like really dramatic l lashes, you will not like this mascara. But the little flexi brush here allows for. Um, the lashes to look very clean and natural. So I would say that this is like Maybelline Full and Soft. It really reminds me of Full and Soft, only better. And then if you want a more dramatic mascara, um, something that is going to make your lashes pop a little bit more, I've been loving the flared falsies, the falsies flared, I guess I should say. This is the waterproof version again because I have a really big problem with smudging. smudging. This one also has like oh, yeah. a flexible brush, but it's not as flexible as the Mega Plush. And it has like a little winged brush, which allows you to get like the lashes out at the side. And I like that because I can get every single lash. And I had been using the Black Drama version of this, but I think I like the flared version better just because of the brush, because you can get like every single lash. If you so. ever use the non-waterproof one, yeah. Because that's really smudgy. Yeah. Yes, I've, there's a big difference between I've, the walls. I've used the regular one before and it just, I had like smudges down here. I just looked like a little panda. Like yeah. all the way around my eyes I had smudges. So I really, really like the waterproof version. I have a favourite mascara this month and I've been yeah. talking about it. I can't remember where I've been talking about it. I definitely did a review on my blog but I thought I included it in last month's favourites but I didn't because I went back and checked. So if I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry but this is amazing! It's YSL Shocking Mascara. So it's a shocking version of their original um, Effect for Seal. I never know how to say that. I know. Is it C or is it Seal? Who? I say se Seals. Who knows? Seals. But this <laughs> is like the opposite of this one that Ingrid was talking about. This is not really for daytime, although I am wearing it today because we're filming a video. <laughs> um, it is super dramatic, incredible, it just makes your lashes like thick, black, like volumized, lengthened, yeah. everything. It does everything. It looks really good. Thanks. <laughs> I'm totally in love with this. Absolutely in love with it. And I used YSL um, mascaras religiously when in my late teens. Like They were always on my birthday, Christmas list. Always. Um, and if this had been around then, <laughs> bad news. It would have been bad news. It's I really want to try that stuff. now because I love the YSL mascara I like how too. they have shocking written on yeah. it as well. And it is quite different, like you were asking me the difference between the original and this one. Um, they have a different wand, and I don't know whether, we were having quite a long debate about yeah. mascara <laughs> formulation this morning. I don't know whether it's just a different wand that creates the different effect, or whether it's actually a different formulation, but it is much more dramatic yeah. than the original. And to the to the verge of it, it can get slightly clumpy if you apply it quickly, but if you have like a few minutes to do it, it just leaves the most beautiful effect. I'm going to stop talking about this now, it's amazing, it's amazing. <laughs> We've been, Next product. We've had a lot of mascara talk today, that's for sure. So, um, I have a lot of lip products here. I guess I'll start off with the balms. So, I've been loving the Christian Dior Creme de Rose lip balm that I've been meaning to talk about in my videos because I've actually been using this for the past few months. And I love this. I use this every single night. Mm. I really, really, really Although love this Although I'm surprised you like that because it smells like Turkish Delight and you don't like Turkish Delight. 
It doesn't smell like Turkish delight. It smells like the rose Turkish delight. Yeah. Because it's rose. I do like um, things that smell like rose water. I just don't mm. like to eat it. That's the thing with Turkish delight. I just don't want... I hate... The texture oh, is kind of fun. Uh, Turkish delight is definitely not one of my favorite foods. But I love this lip balm. And it just feels really luxurious. It says it's, it's a plumping lip balm. I don't really think that it does anything in the plumping department. But it feels really good. And I like using this at night because it's very hydrating and when I wake up in the morning I can still feel it on my lips so that's why I like the plumping department <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a whole department for plumping <laughs> in life it's yeah. a plumping department <laughs> oh and it has SPF 10 in it okay. I never knew that because I always use this at night so I'm like meh added it's bonus yeah but I do like this it's a very good lip balm for nighttime because it just keeps your lips hydrated all night during the day I've been using my Maybelline baby lips this is in fruit punch I forgot which... to buy one of those when I it's... went to Target I wanted so much it's the only one that's like an opaque stick isn't it mm -hmm. all the others are kind of clear and it smells so good oh my gosh I just love <laughs> yeah. it smells it's... like some kind of sweet it's fruit punch. Oh, it's so it smells good. like fruit punch. It's basically. so good, and I'm wearing it under my lip gloss today because I feel like this one has the best color payoff out of all of them. I also have the peachy one, and I like this because it does give a little pink tint to your lips. And um, I, I feel have like SPF too. yeah, I feel like this one is more moisturizing than the other ones that I have for some reason. So I really, really love fruit punch. This one is definitely my favorite. I need to pick it up. If we go past Target on the way to the airport, I'm going to get one. This is so bad because yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, and this. And I'm like, I should have bought that once I've been here. It just smells so good. <laughs> I have a lip balm, too. And I'm going to... Oh, I just dropped something <laughs> on the floor. I'm going to confess that I have only had this for a few days, but it's that good that it is making it into my monthly favorites. Um, you guys might have heard about the Coraz. Or is, is it Coraz? Coraz? I don't know. I think it's Coraz. Yeah, I That's say just, Coraz, yeah, but... There we go. Um... <laughs> You might have heard about them because everybody has raved about them for years and years and I'd never tried one. I'd always looked at them in Sephora when I'd been in the States and been like, oh, they're really expensive, I don't know, I don't know. And I tried one for the first time the other day and they are amazing. They literally just feel amazing. They look really good actually because I have this one which is jasmine and then I also have mango which is more of like a coral colour weirdly. I thought it was going to be like a peachy kind of lighter colour considering it's mango. Yeah. <laughs> um, and this does not smell like jasmine. It smells like cookie. Yeah. We debated this last night. It smells like cookie. Yeah, it does smell They're like cookie. They're so good. Really moisturizing and feel just amazing on your lips. And this is going to be a handbag staple for me. I'm excited to try it now. I've, I've put them on in Sephora and I've thought, oh, this is really nice. But then I've wiped them off to try on other things. So I've never actually had it on for a, like a long period of time to like really see how they work. But it felt really good when I tried them. I'm loving these. Next. Gloss. Next for... Uh, actual like non balm lip products. I have two She's things. a lip product junkie. Yeah, this she month has like five, and she had to cut it down as well. I know. This month I have been using so many different lip lip products, so I narrowed them down to my absolute favorites. These two were in my twenty dollar makeup challenge video. This is a Wet n Wild. I think this is one of their long wearing lipsticks in the color. 903C and this is just a really nice peach color and it does stay on for a really long time so I like that and then I've been using the Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss in the color 310A This Too Shall Glass and these two colors just look really nice together so I've been wearing those and this smells really good too it kind of smells like gummy candy mm. it does like it that. smells like gummy bears yeah and then, um, a recent favorite, I got this, I think, a couple weeks ago. This is the NYX Lip Gloss in Beige, which weirdly... It's not very beige. It's pink. It's pink. Yeah. That's not beige. It is not beige at all, but... What are you thinking, NYX? That's not I know. beige. Are you blind? It's so weird how they called it beige, but I really like this um, lip gloss because some of the NYX lip glosses, I've noticed, are kind of sticky. Like, the formulations are different for some of them. And this one is really smooth, and it's actually moisturizing. And they smell like cherries, don't they? Yeah. This one tastes like strawberry banana to me for some reason. I don't know why, but I really like it's this one. It's not a bad thing. And I really like the color. I'm wearing it today with the baby lips underneath, so. 
That's what I've been like. Well, I've been very restrained <laughs> this month, and instead of having many lip products, I just have one, but it's a Chanel one, so I guess it's probably cost the same amount as all of you put together, <laughs> to be honest. But this is actually another gloss from the um, Rose Ultime de Chanel collection, which I think came out in February here, so I don't know whether you'll still be able to get it over here, but I know when I flew out two weeks ago, they still had some of these on the counter in the airport, and it is number 168, and it is the most glittery, shimmery pink in the world. And at first you think like, wow, is that gonna look a bit glitter ballish? But I've been wearing it a lot this month and I love it. And I really like the formulation of the Chanel Blossomers as well because they're not sticky at all. The one thing that I don't like is that you don't get enough, like when you pull the applicator out, you have to do that like three times to get enough. Have you found that? I've never used one of their lip glosses before. So. They're really good, but yeah, you have to like layer it up because- Do they you smell don't like anything? No. They literally, they're kind of like, you know, like the NARS ones, they mm -hmm. just smell like nothing. That's the one thing I do like lip products to smell like something. I know some people don't, I personally do, so that's the one downfall, but I love the colour of this. It's really kind of um, bright and eye-catching. Actually, I wonder, is this similar to the Dior one that you like? Yeah. And the way that it's shimmery? Um, it's similar, but this one is a lot more shimmery. My Dior one isn't as shimmery. It has like really subtle shimmer in it. I just had to smell it again. We're like just smelling like, each other's products. Yeah. <laughs> is that all of your stuff? I think so. I have a few more things. I have been loving, and I know this is another thing that I should have got onto a bit earlier, Sable eyeshadow. I bought this a few, probably six weeks ago now, on recommendation of Tanya when she used it on me in New York. It's amazing. What have I been doing not owning this for the last three years that I've been doing YouTube and every other like beauty girl on the internet is like, this is amazing, and I just never got around to buying it. Amazing everyday colour. I've been wearing it pretty much every day when I've been in the yeah. States, and I love it. That yeah, is stable, I love stable, and it's lovely. And then, last but not least, I dropped it on the floor, <laughs> my eyeliner that I've been using every day is my NARS, all of the writing's rubbed off, my NARS Larger Than Life um, eyeliner in, I think it's Via Veneto. Just a tip if you go for these, they are twist up, not sharpen. <laughs> I tried to sharpen mine, and I messed it up. Oh, but luckily I oh can no. still, I was in a real hurry and yeah. I was like, oh no! <laughs> um, they are so black, really creamy, they, they smudge like really nicely if you like a smudgy kind of eyeliner, which I do. They look great and they stay like glue or stick like glue. I like actually bought one thinking that I had bought the black one and I accidentally like the white one was where the black was supposed to be, so I ended up buying the white one and then just forgot to return it and I still haven't tried the eyeliner, but I've been wanting to try those so badly. They're so good. I have three colors of these. The black, I have the nude color is amazing because they're great on your waterline yeah. every day and it's like a good color. It's not too white, it's not too pinky. Yeah. Um, and then I have the teal color, which is amazing as well. These are so good, and I would recommend them. I think I'm going to be getting that eyeliner. We're the like, right, right color this now time. we've done this, we yeah. need to go shopping yeah. and buy all of each other's products. Yeah. So that is it for the video, guys. If you didn't check out part one, again, go and check out Ingrid's channel. You're probably all subscribed to her already, but if you aren't, oh. isn't she amazing? Look at oh. her little face. <laughs> oh, I should get Nugs. Nugs, another oh. favorite. This oh. is my final favorite of the month. <laughs> it's Nugs. I finally got to meet him, and he's so funny. He's honestly the most crazy cat. I've, he like just jumps around, and you'll be walking past, and he'll just like pounce on you. Yeah. He's so cute. He's fluffy. This is the first time I've seen him like quiet. Yeah. He's like, I Look. was, I was taking a nap. Are you sleeping? I'm gonna go on the bed. <laughs> he's a big cat. He's gonna he, be a he's monster. A, he's a big boy. He's definitely a big. <laughs> he's gonna be boy. a fat cat. <laughs> That is it for this month's monthly favourites. I had such a good time filming with somebody else. I'm like, yeah, it was so fun, like having somebody else to film with. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too. But I will see all of you in the next video. Bye, Bye guys.